Boeing 777 mystery, JFK in lockdown, terrorist scare or simple power outage. Hour four passes with so what is no it, Barnes? SARS, bird flu? Did someone Airport die on the plane? Authorities aren't speaking yet, but a hazmat team has arrived on scene, so we'll just have to wait and see. The pilot was in communication with the tower until six minutes after touchdown. Then everything went dead. No communication, no movement, no noise. The techs tell me their equipment picks up nothing. It's completely silent inside the plane. The shades are all drawn. The exterior emergency releases appear jammed shut from the inside. It's been near five hours and the thing is sealed up tighter than a coffin. Possibly some kind of toxin, maybe terrorism. You have no samples yet? Nothing. Director Barnes wants all press information to come from the CDC. He wants you, Dr. Goodweather, out in front of reporters in an hour. Be right, not over dramatic. Planes and possible terrorism are a huge public anxiety. Christ, Kent, can't he wait till we see what the hell is going on? No comment. How long was it from when the plane landed till it went dark, Nora? Only six minutes. Whatever it was must have overpowered them immediately. All the shades are drawn. Why would they all be drawn? Dr. Goodweather, you... Um, why did you wait so long to call us? Anything like this happens, you immediately call Hazmat first, and Centers for Disease Control second, you got me? Has anyone gone on the plane yet, and have they been quarantined? No, uh, no one. We can't even get the doors open. It's like they're sealed from the inside. Ah, the window there! It's open! It wasn't before! What is it, Nora? Yo! We've got entry! We were having a hell of a time. Then the emergency door, the, the seal just popped. All on its own. Or somebody inside opened it. Well, let's suit up and see what we see. Zach must not have been happy. He took it better than me, I think. Had to drop him with Kelly. Nora, I... Save it. Once we're clear, you back out and let my team take over. And nobody leaves the scene without going through the medical tent. Got it, Doc. Okay, on three. One, two, three. They're all dead here, Af. No signs of panic or trauma, though. Like they all just fell asleep. Keep checking, Nora. This makes no sense. Gas, maybe? Possibly, though no signs of struggle or vomiting. Everyone's still seatbelted. Christ. Nora, get Jimmy and Kate up here to take air, carpet, and seat samples for testing. Able to find no cause of death for the victims on the plane, Dr. Ephraim Goodweather and Dr. Nora Martinez had the bodies moved to morgues across New York for further investigation. They discovered that the bodies, which radiate heat even while dead, now ooze with white blood. A small incision in the victim's neck is the only evidence of trauma, but it's slight. Aside from a strange black cabinet that was found on the plane, the doctors have no clues as to what's gone wrong. My name is Abraham Sutrikian. What I have to say, Doctor, is very important. Critical. Huh? There's not much time. Yes, well, you can call my office and make an appointment. The bodies. You found them not decomposing as they should. Changing, yes? White blood? What did you say? Where are you hearing this from? And a coffin. Did you find the coffin? If you still have it, then you still have him. You must destroy it right away. Disperse the soil. Sir, please, slow down. Slow down. What are you saying? You! You will listen to me, yes? It will be dark in less than an hour. The bodies, they must be burned! Okay? Yes. Uh, okay. Please, just tell me why. That's the guy. He tried to sneak in earlier. Sir, please step this way. An ancient truce has been broken. He is here, now, in the new world, here, in the city! Who? Who's here? Sir? An abomination! A walking, devouring abomination! Do you understand? Hey! Okay, that's it. Let's go. Ultraviolet light! Go over the bodies with ultraviolet light and you will see! Hurry, Doctor, before it's too late! You ready to see if the old man was crazy? I pray he's crazy. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, Af. What 
makes this? I'll be goddamned if I know. This is the seat where the little girl, Emma, was. You never forget the kids. It must be all over the bodies. Something came through here. We need to find that old man. The CDC is still investigating. Family and friends mourn the death of eight-year-old Emma Gilbarton this evening. School friends held a candlelight vigil for their classmate. Family members and close friends are here at the home of Emma's father, Gary Gilbarton. Gary was in mourning after the loss of his wife and daughter, and understandably wanted their home to remain private. It's not 24 hours since the tragedy of Flight 753, but its impact has been felt far and wide. Tragedies like this affect not just victims, but family members, friends, and neighbors as well. Let's bring in our town grief counselor, Dr. Macaulay Schaefer. Dr. Schaefer? She wasn't a goddamn soundbite. Get you whatever you want. Everything's gonna be all right now. Having found the evidence that the old man's information was correct, Ephraim and Nora begin to agree something is strange about this virus. They find the old man, Abraham Satrakian, and he introduces them to a new V word, vampire. Satrakian can show them additional proof about the oncoming vampire plague if they take him to the house of one of the victims from the airplane. So you're saying all those bodies in the morgue have just gotten up and gone home? The creatures operate on instinct at first. They need to seek nourishment. When they wake, the vestiges of who they were drive them to seek out those that are closest to them. Those that are imprinted on their psyche. Their dear ones. I remember this girl from the plane. Emma was her name. She couldn't have been older than eight. Hmm. Come. Here. The dead are not much for closing doors. Blacklight? Blacklight is merely UVA waves, revealing but harmless. UVB is stronger and can cause sunburn or cancer. This is UVC shortwave, used for sterilization. Very harmful to humans, but to the vampire, it's weapons grade. Oh, crap. He is turned. Stand back, Doctor. This must be done. Wait! He, he's just lying there. She's returning. Quickly, she must not escape us. This is not the way to do this. If there are 200 dead and each one is out converting how many others for the second night in a row, they're spreading like a virus. We can't do this alone. What's Barnes going to say? Well, if he doesn't say, let's call out the National Guard, I think we're all in big trouble. <laughs> 